when Bloxford's update 17 part 3 drops in a couple of days the game is going to be changed completely Indra himself said it's going to be a totally different experience and today I want to focus specifically on the fruits themselves because so many of them are getting changed flame ice dark chops spring spike quake light magma spin and rubber are getting a total revamp or potentially an awakening and with part 2 of the sneak peek coming out who knows there might be even more fruits that are going to look totally different in a couple of days let's take a look at every single fruit and that's 33 how the actual fruits themselves look and what their abilities are so a couple of years from now you will look back on this video and go hmm so that's what that that's what that fruit used to look like before they totally changed it. I thought it'd be a pretty cool nostalgic thing to do, so why don't we just get started? Starting off with a bang, we got the boom! This is what the bomb currently looks like. I mean, it is just classic. It's just... Mwah. So I think for now, bomb is gonna stay exactly the same as it is now, which is perfect. We got the snipe. Beautiful. Ultimate explosion. Absolutely classic. I am going to have to sign the petition for the bomb to never change. Yo, he hit me back with a bomb. What the hell? Yo, yo, chill, 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 chill. Yo, this dude is literally waiting outside for me. You maniac. Get out of here. They can come in the building? Oh, okay, never mind. All right, let's move on. So this right here, we got the spike fruit. Rush. This is beautiful, by the way. Look at these spikes you have for hands. There it goes. Just a bunch of slashes. And then you got the spike ball, which is one of my favorite moves. Look at this thing. So this is the move that we saw in the trailer. And here is the chop fruit. Beautiful. The abilities themselves are definitely going to be changed. There is the punch. Looking pretty basic, right? There's the dance party. Very cool. And there is the party. You flip your opponent upside down, drop them on their head. Very funny, very hilarious. I like this fruit. Moving on! Now we got the spring, which we also know for certain is gonna look totally different with the update. The fruit itself is one of the only fruits and blocks fruits that is not a square or a cube. We got the knock, which is just a different version of the regular punch with chop. Take a look at it. Oh, whoa, 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 boing. Yo, this guy has no chill, man. Boom! Right there. Get yeeted, boy. And then the Spring Canyon. We saw the new look of the Spring Canyon in the trailer. I'm pretty sure this is just a revamp. The Spring League, you just bounce around the walls. You already know how I feel about the Kilo. Couldn't care less about it. Wouldn't really care if they deleted it, to be honest. They're making a totally different look for the physical fruit itself. So here's the 10,000 kilogram. 20,000 kilo to 50,000 kilo. What is very cool about the Kilo, though? The Mary Poppins. Okay, so I was told the higher you fly, the more damage you deal. So if I fly very, very, very high up in the air, I should be able to one-shot the entire map. Like, the entire map should probably sink. See how high we can go. Alright, so it's been about two minutes. I'm getting impatient, so why don't we just drop down and... Uh, three, two, one, let's go! Ooh, oh my god! I'm a meteor, dude! I'm a freaking meteor! What the... Oh, the move's gone! Oh, quick, quick, quick. Use the next one. Use the next one. <laughs> Super Saiyan! Ah, uh, what? What? Yo, land on him, land on him! <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Here we go, the smoke. The one fruit that started my entire career on YouTube. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my first video. There were some clips that people are speculating to be the smoke. So we're going to take one last good look at all of the moves before it's gone from our lives forever. We got the smoke cloud. All right. How cool is that? And then the smoke pole. Oh my God. This dude got the... Yo, does he imitate what fruits I use? Smoke tackle. Boom. Get him. And then of course, the legendary smoke flight. Trippy as hell and slow as hell. All right. So the spin fruit definitely getting a total revamp or an awakening in the coming update. I like every single one of the spins moves. Razor wind. Look at that thing. Look at your arms. Turn into a freaking attack helicopter, yo. Tornado assault. Come on. Spinning bomber. All right. And of course, we got the helicopter flight. <laughs> All right. So there is the flame. One of the more highly anticipated revamps. What is this? Fire bullets. Fire beam. Fire beam. Woo. Damn. Fire column. I think this one you got to get close. Yep. Fire bomb. So you summon a giant ball of flame. Throw it and lunge it at your enemy. All right. And this is the fire flight. He can! Prominence burst. Sheesh. Sheesh! Flaming vortex. This one, you lunge yourself into the air. 
Sheesh. And then Flame Destroyer, which is just a bigger version of the Unawakened one. But yeah, there is the Flame Destroyer. Very dope. So this is the Rocket Flight, which is the Fire Flight, except much faster. It's going to take us a while to go through all of these, but it's for a good cause. It is for history. All right, we got the Falcon next. This is one of the fruits that is just blech. It's just boring. It's just Blech, blech, blech. So you got to use the plumage to bring out your wings before you can even do anything. And then the wind burst, bone crusher, and then soaring talon, which is kind of just a tackle. And then of course the flight, not even like a full transformation. Blech. All right. So we got the ice fruit. We pretty much confirmed that it is going to look totally different. The fruit itself and also the moves. Uh, say goodbye. See you. All right, so the cool thing about the ice, which hopefully they don't remove, is you do get a sword that comes with it. First, we got the ice shards, ice surge, and then we got the ice bird, which, um, and then we have the glacial epic. Oh, yeah. Now, let's take a look at the awakened versions. Okay, so instead of ice shards, we got ice spears. This glacial surge also looks much better than the previous version. Ice Dragon, I mean, come on. Absolute Zero, which is an upgraded version of the Glacial Epic. And then you get an added F move, which is turn into a figure skater. How cool is that, man? Next, we got the Sand. Don't really have any information on this one whatsoever, unless I missed something. Yep, I remember this. Desert Funeral. Sand Tornado. Heavy Sand. It takes literally four moves just to kill one level 700 NPC. All right, we got the better version of the Desert Sword. Shush! Sand Coffin. Again, looking much better. Sand Storm. Woo! Deep Sand. This one is just Cyborg V3 mixed with a big Sand Blast. Boom. There is the Dark Fruit. Take a good look. Dark Rocks. Oh, so is that what the revamp in the trailer is? Black Spiral? Jeez! I don't remember these, man. Black Hole? <laughs> and then Dark Bomb. Oh my, oh my god, this guy's a flying spike ball. This is what the Dark currently looks like. It's never gonna look the same. Dimensional Slash. Abyssal Darkness. Very cool. Endless hole. Not just a black hole. It's endless. What the hell? It just ended. Yo, I thought it was supposed to be endless. World of darkness. Yo, can you chill? These NPCs have no chill, man. I don't think anything is happening to the dark awakening. Not a big fan of the F move, the ghastly step. The revive kind of like hollow and translucent. Very cool. You can see my hand through it. Possession. Did I just freeze this guy? Soul ruler. Whoa. That's sick. Wandering soul. Oh my god. Yo! Just leave your lifeless corpse on the ground? Oh my god! Now onto the final move. The C move resurrection. Oh, you're so weak. Ugh. Factory staff, you make me sick. There we go. <laughs> and you can still do everything as if you are still alive. Wondering soul. <laughs> Alright, now we got the diamond. I don't think there's much information on it. So we're not really going to talk about it much. That's how it looks. You start off with encrust. Turn yourself into a diamond. Beaming tackle. You got your typical tackle move. Diamond hail. Again, a pretty generic move. And then we got the solar flare. All right, now here we got the light. We do know the unawakened version of light is getting a revamp. Ice beam. Boom. Light barrage. Very cool. Yo, can you relax? Light barrage. Take that, boy. Light kick. Whoa! Sky Beam Barrage. Is this similar to the other V-Move? Yeah, very similar. And then Light Flight. So this is the same as the Awaken, except you can't turn. You can only fly in a straight line. Divine Arrow. Swords of Judgment. Beautiful. Light Speed Destroyer. You already know I love that move. Wrath of God. So cool, man. And then you get the flight, of course, one where you could turn around and change directions with the Awakened version, the fastest flight in the game. As perfect as it gets. There's the Love Fruit. That's how the fruit currently looks, just in case it gets a reskin. Mellowing Heart. Very adorable. Just, just, you know, you know what I'm saying.
Arrows of Imprisonment. Yeah, this fruit could definitely go for a V2. And you get the Scented Kicks. Similar to the Falcon. Very nah, 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 nah. Now, the Rubber Fruit. With the fight against the Leopard Fruit made it look like the rubber is getting some changes. I couldn't make out what's going on. I'm too old for this. Everything was moving too fast. I couldn't tell. Obviously, you got the Classic. The Pistol. The Cannon, which is essentially the Pistol with two arms. Gatling. <laughs> and you just turn into a pink steamy eraser. Well, what do you know? All right, we're back. Well, there you go. There's the barrier. Get a better look. All right, actually, I got two. We got the barrier wall. All right, you slam somebody with a wall. The surprise, mother lover. Got the barrier prison. This one is sick. <laughs> The barrier towers, all right? Just drop five gigantic pillars on top of your enemy's head. The barrier fruit is essentially Fortnite and blocks fruits, if you think about it. All right, next, we got the magma fruit. We know this one is another one that is getting a total reskin. You will never see this fruit ever again. Magma fists, probably what's gonna get changed with a giant god slap. Magma slap, maybe that's what it's gonna be called. So, uh, the column move, we've seen it in many of the other fruits as well. Magma Wolf, again, pretty similar. Magma Meteors is a little unique. And, of course, Magma Flight. Uh, let's just take a look quickly. The Magma Shower. Volcanic Assault. Delicious. Just delicious. Great Magma Hound, which is like he can on crack. And then the Volcanic Storm. Finally, of course, you got the Beast Ride. All right, now we got the Door Fruit. The C move is the best move in the entire game. Spinning door, dimensional door. You open a door and then the hallway, trap your enemies in an endless loop. And then, of course, the door gateway. It'll just teleport you to anywhere you want to go, right? That is the best move in the game. All right, next up, we got the Quake. Probably the biggest fruit in the game. Uh, we got the Quake Punch. Crack the freaking air. Totally missed that. Boom. Quake Wave. Boom. Quake Erupt. Boom. Dual tsunami for a send-off for our beautiful and amazing quake. <laughs> Let's take a look at the awakened version of the quake. We got the fatal demolisher. You drag him over there, crack space and time itself. How insane is that? Air crusher. His attack totally blocked it. Let's move on to spatial shockwave. And of course, you get the sea quake which is just dual tsunami, except 20 feet higher and times four. There's four of them. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. Buddha is getting a revamp, everybody. A reskin, I should say. Huh? What the hell was that? Let's go with impact. Nope, I used the Buddha leap. Whoops. This one is the impact. And then Buddha explosion. All right, so here we go. We got the new transformation. Heavenly Impact, a way cooler version of Buddha Punch. Light of freaking Annihilation. Twilight of the freaking gods. My favorite move of them all. Retribution Dash. Literally get picked up and slammed onto the ground. All right, so we got the String Throw. The tip kind of paying homage to our good friend Doflamingo. The Rainbow String. The Multi-String Attack. The Overheated Sniper. Which is very similar to like the Bomb Snipe. Look at this pose. <laughs> Looks like I want to give you a hug. But no, I'm really trying to kill you. Ultimate threat. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. All right. Now the Awakened String. Thermal Laceration. Silk Prison, which is Birdcage. Love that move so much. Eternal White. <laughs> and of course, a minigun made out of purple string. Dude, that's a one-shot kill. What the hell? God's Highway. All right. Here's the Phoenix Fruit. Very similar to the Buddha, except... Instead of glowing yellow, it's glowing blue. So we got the cannon. Alright, we got the regeneration flames. Bam! We got the full transformation, this regular, basic, clunky looking phoenix. And then we have the hybrid flight. But you already know how I feel about the awakened phoenix. Man, this is the coolest fruit. Come on, look at this thing. It's just so colorful and bright and just looks good. Blue flames. So it's like the healing circle, except much bigger. Flame Exodus! And then you got the Swift Flight, which gives you a dash. And there's also the M1 Click, which also gives you a dash. They really went in with this Awakening. All right, next up, we got the Rumble. Love the way it looks, though. Rumble Dragon. Sky Thunder. Sky Beam. 
And of course, Thunder Bomb. Where's my bomb? Oh my god, was it that high up in the air? Let's take a look at the Awakened Rumble. Lightning Beast. Thunderstorm. Very similar to the Unawakened. Just looks much better. Similar to the Sky Judgment. And the Thunderball of Destruction, of course. Just much more bigger. And let's drop it on this dude. Oof. All right, let's electric flash our way back into the cafe. Nope, the paw, exactly like the rest. All right, let's take a look at the moves. Heavy paw, paw barrage. It's a punch with a bunch of paws. Paw nuke. Just a giant paw explosion. Torture. Just, just a red paw. Everything is a, <laughs> everything is a paw. Literally called torture. That's so dark. We got the gravity, gravity push. Can I just say, I did not have any of these moves and I had to grind for hours on locking them just for this video. Meteor Pitch. You drop a meteor on your enemy's head. But you know what's cooler than dropping one meteor on your enemy? Dropping multiple meteors on your enemy? Come on, man. And then this is the best part. This is the best part. You just pick up, you just pick a part off the ground and fly on top of it. Next up, we got, of course, the dough. It's been talked about for like an entire year. And we're finally getting to the end game. It's literally like the One Piece. The fried dough. The sticky dough. The carved dough. And then the rest is dough, dough barrage. What I didn't know is you could actually bring them closer to you with it. You could bring them to like anywhere you want. It's very cool. How are they just coming out of nowhere? These things are so annoying. And then the roller donut. All right, next, we got the Shadow Fruit. Really like this one. Been PvPing with it a lot recently. Take a good look there. Somber Rebellion. Uh, Shadow Nest. Nightmare Leech. And then my favorite meme move, Corvus Torment. <laughs> look at him bounce around. Look at him bounce around get tormented. Yeah, yeah, boy. how that feel? And then Umbrage, which is the flight. Flying around with a bunch of bats. All right, next up, we do have the Legendary Venom Fruit. I'm just gonna go ahead and transform. Oh no, I don't have Max Fury yet. We're gonna have to wait a second. Transform! Look at him jump. He doesn't even move. The Poison Daggers. Oh yeah. Noxus Shot. Oh yeah. Toxic Fuck. This one always annoys me, man. If you're in a public server, playing with a Venom user, just blocking up the whole screen, it just, it bothers me. Yeah, you can see the three heads circling around. I like that a lot. All right, here we got the control fruit. Again, this is one where it took me a very, very long time to unlock all the moves. Also spent a lot of Robux. So you're going to start off with the control area. Shumbles. Really cool. You got the levitate. You pick something up, toss it at your enemy. Very basic, but it regenerates really fast. So you can literally just like spam it. Echo knife. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at that animation, it's like a cutscene. But you know what's more like a cutscene? The Gamma Rush. Look at that. It pens the entire map, dude. That's just sick. All right, here we got the Soul Fruit. We know this one is getting a new look. It's going to never look the same ever again. Does that make you want to cry? Does that make you happy? I do not have all of the mastery. I got too tired grinding. So we have the Soul Snatcher. And you got the X move. Uh, okay, I totally missed. Try the Wrath of Ra again. It's like a beam of fire come down on them. Outraged Raijin. Uh, Mr. Beast is going to love this because I'm going to be planting a bunch of trees. Yeah, just got to stay environmentally conscious, everybody. Yeah, building a whole forest out here. There you go, everyone. I like this move. You ride on your cloud. You ride on Zeus with the sun following you. This is very cool. Last but not least, we have the Dragon Fruit. Another one where I don't have all of the mastery. I can't be bothered to get the transformation. But I do know somebody who does. And I'm going to have him show you all of the abilities with this fruit. Take it away, newbie. Hey, guys. It's your boy, Official Poopy here. Taking over any your channel. And this fruit is looking kind of lit. I mean, kind of whack because I hate this fruit. And these are the moves that make me cry. The Z move literally requires no skill. All the dragon moves require the same amount of skill, which is none. This is the X move. This makes your enemy lit. This is the C move. Just a bunch of barrage of farts. I don't know where you get these wings. This is the V move. This turns into a massive dragon. 
So there you have it, everybody. Every single fruit and their abilities before update 17 part 3 drops. The world is never going to be the same. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to use code NU when you're buying Robux. Also, join the Discord server. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Link for all of that is in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Peace!